Good morning, and welcome to the Recovery Report Live. I'm Matthew Sangster, president of Global Pro, coming to you from the Nucleus Studio here at the Griffin Studio. Global Pro is your insurance coverage expert before, during, or after any loss or damage. The pedigree of our team, the extensive collective experience, and our unwavering advocacy for our policyholders and care for our community makes Global Pro uniquely qualified to represent over 1,400 community associations, hundreds of business owners, thousands of homeowners and private clients. Our team, our process, our experience has resulted in the recovery of over $1.2 billion over the past 11 and a half years, almost 12 years. On today's episode, I'm going to delve deep into a critical issue facing Florida condominium associations. Florida condominium associations are facing, excuse me. It's becoming more and more prevalent. We're getting more and more calls. I'm having more and more meetings about this very thing. And it's really damage caused by nearby construction projects. Uh, over the next 20 minutes, we'll explore what associations can do when they find themselves in this challenging situation and talk a little bit about the market. There's, there's a ton of projects in the pipeline. There's a ton of projects that are being uh, completed, topped off, and then turned over at the moment as well. Uh, the past three or five years in the cycle that we've seen has really led to and culminated into this situation, uh, unfortunately, for associations uh, in South Florida specifically, but across uh, the, the entire state. Now, we, we all know how neighboring construction projects can result in significant losses and disruptions for associations. You know, unit owners and associations have the right to quiet enjoyment of their property. So what happens is it's not just a financial burden, right? It impacts the overall quality of life. You have concrete overspray, waterproofing overspray, you have paint, you have falling objects. You have all sorts of things, unfortunately, that, are, that, that could and, and will uh, and do damage your property from the nearby construction project. And, uh, you know, I think it's, it's best to describe and, and help associations understand that there are avenues for recovery. There are avenues to recovery uh, specifically through insurance claims. So today we're going to focus on that. And in particular, we're going to focus on first and third party claims. Okay, so let's start with the first party. Let's understand what a first party claim is. Uh, first party claim is when an association or an insured, a policyholder, claims against their own policy or their insurer, right? The intent of this contract policy, just to give you a, a 30,000 foot overview of it, is that you have to prove your damage to get paid. Okay, so when a condo association, uh, an association, suffers loss or damage due to a nearby construction process, this is one of the ways that they can seek compensation. And here's what you should consider. First and foremost, we always say, you need to understand your policy. You need to read the policy and, and figure out coverages. You need to understand what's excluded. You need to understand what you've paid a premium for, right? Then you need to back into how that relates to construction related losses. Right? Property damage, business interruption, additional living expenses for residents. There's all these coverages to contemplate and think, you know, think about and, and, and understand how to prove those damages to you know, make sure that you're covered for them. Uh, simultaneously or, or you know, as soon as you can, obviously, uh, you need to document all the damages. Right? You need to take pictures, videos. Uh, you need to, you know, if you can, drone the property. Right? Evidence is always the most crucial part of filing a claim and proving your damage. So you've learned the, the, the coverages in the policy, you've understood it, you've documented all the potential issues, the loss and damage. Uh, now what you need to do is you need to promptly notify the association's insurance carrier. You need to explain what the loss or damage is. You need to follow and comply in the policy, and this is why you need to read your policy. Uh, you need to comply with any specific notice requirements, right? And then at the same time, make sure you're in compliance with all of your duties after a loss. Everything that I've just discussed is described in the policy, and these are the two most important parts, notice requirements and duties after a loss. Who to tell, how to tell, how to make sure that it's properly noticed to the insurer, and then every step you need to take to understand how to be in compliance with your policy, okay? Uh, this part though, these two parts, is, is probably the two hardest uh, tasks to, to, to complete, right? we've done tens of thousands of claims here at Globe Pro, right? We would always highly recommend that you engage the services of a professional, someone to represent uh, the association or you as a unit owner or homeowner in an insurance claim process because you will get help interpreting the policy. You'll get help. You'll get an advocate for the association's or your rights. You'll get help properly filing a claim and negotiating that claim. Most importantly, you'll get assistance valuing the loss and damage. 
So when you're considering representation, again, I, I would be remiss not to talk about Global Pro, obviously, and the insurance coverage expert here, my awesome team here at Global Pro. But we'll assist you with all that, assessing, quantifying the damages, preparing the claim, negotiating with the insurance company, and advocating on your behalf. Uh, you know, our expertise, our experience, the pedigree of our team, uh, the, the, the process that we've built, again, over 11 and a half years, almost 12 years, is, is uh, you know, invaluable throughout this entire situation. And it's one of the one of the toughest situations to be in. So you always want to have someone good uh, and, and that you trust representing your interests. Okay, let's get to third-party claims. Okay, a little bit similar, but I want to make sure we have a distinction here. Third-party claims are when you, as the claimant or, you know, the association or the homeowner or whomever, have suffered loss or damage, right, because of somebody else or another entity, or in this instance, the nearby construction project, right? Neighboring construction projects typically are responsible for the damages suffered by the condo associations, and this is what you need to consider for that. A third-party claim, to be clear, uh, as I started the first-party claim process, right, is, is, you know, to prove negligence, right? To prove negligence, which will then provide, you know, the liable party or provide liability. First party, again, prove your damage. Third party, prove negligence to get to liability. Okay, it's very, it's a distinct, it's a distinctly different process, and 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 you need to understand, you know, the the strategy behind both and how to move through those adjustment processes. So again, first, identify the responsible party. Is it the sub? Is it the GC? Is it developer? Depending on the policy, it might be all of the above. Uh, you know, they might have an OCFC SIP policy. It might be a RAP policy. Commonly known as a RAP policy. Maybe they've already opened the property policy, and who knows? You might have only the the the, the strategy only to to go through a first party claim. But on a third party basis, there's there's many differences. There, there's things you have to understand. You need to properly notice them all if they're not in a RAP policy, and you need to have uh, you know ensure that you're following up on these things and holding people accountable. Okay. Uh, you need to then establish a clear link between the damages, right, the loss and damage that has occurred with this project, right, again, after you've been able to identify the responsible parties, okay? You need to collect evidence. You, need, you might have to hire some experts right away. You can need to find information about the construction project, the plans, the timelines, any witness statements. Uh, you need to document as well, right? Pictures, videos, anything you, you can you can get, uh, compile, I should say, to, to, you know, show the damage, okay? In this instance, I would go back to what I said before also, right? You need to retain a professional, a professional experience in construction and insurance coverage, and you need to build a strong case against these responsible parties. So you've identified the responsible parties, you've, you've identified and documented all of the damage, all the loss and damage, it's time to move on and find an, a, you know, an experienced professional to advocate on your behalf that understands construction, understands insurance coverages, and, and that way together as a team you'll put a strong file together, a strong case together against these responsible parties, hopefully proving negligence, uh, which then again will prove liability, right? It'll, it'll, it'll uh, you know, show who's liable. Um, you know, representation like Global Pro and our insurance coverage expert here will help you do that. You know, evaluate the damages, quantify the financial impact, provide expert support in negotiations, and, and, and you know, hopefully get settlement discussions um, uh, started and completed. We'll also help you, you know, as, a, as an aside, right, we'll help you find the experts, the right people, the right professionals uh, to, to get the information, the data you need for that strong case. These are all the things that, that occur when, when working with us. Okay, so so to delve into that a little further, you know, the third kind of part again is to is to find a a uh, you know representative who understands construction, who understands insurance coverage, who who can help you with all that. Basically, to navigate the insurance claim uh, process, it's very complex, it's very time consuming, and you need to have your team your team in place. Okay. Uh, to dig a little deeper into that as well, you know, our insurance coverage experts bring an expertise in interpreting policy uh, coverages. Um, which is essential to understanding, again, once you've proved negligence or you've proved liability, right, uh, or you've proven your damages, who pays? Or, conversely, who defends, you know, these, this, this loss and damage? Uh, and, and ultimately, you need to understand, you know, how to get to the place where you're, you're affecting settlement or you're getting a result. And, and that's, again, that's kind of the, the, the way to wrap everything up, okay? Uh, you know, we, 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 we have a, uh, uh, a presentation that we do all the time. 
uh, it, we can happily send out information about first and third party claims, especially when it comes to, uh, you know, nearby construction damage. Uh, you know, so all you have to do is, is take a look in the, in the caption below. We have our, our website. Uh, you can contact us there. We'll have our, our email. We'll have our phone number. Reach out to us. Let us know. Send us a message. Send us a DM on, on uh, any of our social platforms, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, obviously. If you want to learn more about this, happy to send you written information, but you can always jump on a call as well and talk through this if you suffer, uh, you know, if, if your association or you have suffered loss or damage from a nearby construction project or really anybody else. Uh, the one thing I didn't talk about today, which we'll talk about on a subsequent episode, is what happens if the construction uh, or the loss and damage is, is from construction or capital improvement projects on your property. That's a whole different situation with similar tasks, similar processes behind them uh, that'll help lead you to success. So that'll be the kind of follow up, uh, you know, to, to today's uh, broadcast. All right. Uh, but kind of, to kind of wrap everything up, you know, Globe Pro insurance coverage experts kind of we excel in preparing these comprehensive files, these comprehensive evaluations of, of, of the loss and damage. We, we, we excel at maximizing your value and streamlining the process. Um, ultimately, we want to make sure that the association, their board, and, and their property management company, anybody else affected by this loss and damage, uh, you know, has the chance to kind of focus on their core responsibilities, right, while they know that there's a representative that's, that's uh, pursuing a, a recovery in their best interests, right, and that they're being protected. So, Again, remember, recovering from damage caused by nearby construction projects requires a comprehensive and strategic approach. Please seek professional assistance early on. Ensure your rights are protected throughout the process and try to eliminate as much liability on behalf of yourself or the association, depending on your relationship, uh, you know, in that regard. Okay? Again, take a look at the, the caption below. Send us an email. Give us a call. DM us on social media or LinkedIn. Happy to go through a lot of this information uh, in more depth with you and, 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 and give you specific uh, answers and specific information to your, uh, maybe your issue. But otherwise, thank you very much. I had a great time today. This wraps up our episode. Remember, again, if your association, your business, or your home suffers loss or damage, always call us first. Uh, in particular, with new construction project, email us, DM us, call us. Happy to walk through all of this with you. Don't forget to subscribe below. Follow us on social media and LinkedIn. Please like our posts and videos. And, and again, join us next week right here at the, at the Nucleus Hub the Griffin Studio, same time, same channel. Take care. See you soon.